It is good to see you. I was taking a moment to prepare for the ritual. There is suffering in anticipation, but strength in its acknowledgement. And, if I am to be honest, something more. Guardian, a moment of peace awaits in the midst of the frenzy. A moment born of ugliness and violence truly earned. It is justice. So I will step again into the ritual space and be consumed by the profane chitin. When you tithe to me, I will feel the rank blood of your offerings flow down my throat. And as the vile power fills me to bursting, my thoughts will be only of the Hive Sisters, Savathun, Zivu Arath of my plans for them. It is then I find that sweet moment. And deep beneath my hideous mask, I smile. I gotta admit, kid, you're stacking some legit tithes. You got a real flair for brutality. Sword logic is an ironically blunt tool. Easily wielded by even the dullest mind. Though I must admit, to be guided by such simple-mindedness is... liberating. And what's your grand purpose? Peace and unity? Vengeance. Against the Hive. Hey, I don't blame you. Being Savathun's ghost is no treat. I'm not looking forward to bringing her back. Not least because her absence made you de facto general of the Lucent Brood. Leadership suits me. For now, your time of self-glorification has nearly passed. That's rich coming from a wannabe hive god. Even with the Guardian's help, you're still coming up short. You're not even close to Zivu's strength yet. And you look like a screeb ready to pop. Fear not, you osseous little toad. The path to victory lies close at hand. Even if you lack the eyes to see it. This has to stop. Throwing yourself into danger is not going to solve our problem. We have to step back and find another way. You would put me in the library, and I would be so glad of it that I would never set foot outside its walls. But only I can stop Zivu Arath, and nothing is won by my complacency. Eris, this is too much for you. I am not so frail, Ikora. I have never thought that. Then do not treat me as such. You know that I am capable, and now you know of what. Ikora, I have always had your trust, and you have never needed my forgiveness. Now please, I ask for your support. Do you know what I see? A friend who takes risks because she doesn't want anyone else to. A friend who is too afraid to look away from disaster and thinks destroying herself is the only way to stop it. I held back when Savathun took the light. I allowed others to go in my stead and take the revenge I am owed. But I made a promise to myself. I would be her ruin. We both value action in times of loss. Let me act. Let me be who I am. I don't want you lost to this. Then help me finish it. I'm gonna give it to you straight, Sunbeam. I've run the numbers, and your gal, Eris, doesn't have what it takes. She talks a good game. But she's nowhere near strong enough to deal with Zivu. This whole idea was a long shot from the start. 
and you guardians came up short. So listen, I don't plan on getting crushed by Zivu, or you, or anybody else for that matter. I'll stick around, but if things get hairy, I'm out of here. Savathun can stay dead for all I can. Doesn't make any difference to me. Maybe I can do the Finch thing. Be a free agent. Ah, don't look so surprised. Sure, your ghost would never abandon you. But there's one important difference between him and me. He's an idiot. Sorry to rain on your parade. But there's no way this ends in anything but a bloodbath. And I don't plan on getting caught in it. <laughs>